Hey everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and this is Game 3 of Boros Warfare vs. Esper Control. The first spell of the game was a Curious Capsule by Austin, and then I followed it up by cracking an Arid Mesa and laying down my Goblin Assault. Austin used an Esper Charm to blow up my Goblin Assault, and then I cracked a Scalding's Horn and played in a Johnny Vengeant to keep his Arcane Sanctum tapped down. Austin got rid of my Johnny Vengeant with the Celestial Purge and then passed the turn. On my turn, I cast an Amiria Angel, but had no lands to make bird tokens out of it, at which point Austin cracked his Marsh Flats and searched for a Plains. He then used his two mana to crack his capsule and draw two cards. On Austin's turn, he simply played an Esper Charm to draw two cards. On my turn, Austin used a Path to Exile to get rid of my Amiria Angel, but I laid down a second Amiria Angel and then laid down a Plains to make a bird token. Austin had no plays on his next turn, then on my turn I played and cracked an Arid Mesa to make two more bird tokens, and then attacked for fourth my Myria Angel and my other token. On Austin's next turn he simply played Elspeth and made a soldier token. During my upkeep Austin used an Agony Warp to kill my Myria Angel and shrink one of my bird tokens, and then I attacked with my bird tokens for two damage, and then cast a Conqueror's Pledge post combat to make six more dudes. Austin simply made one more soldier token on his turn with Elspeth, and then on my turn I attacked with all my dudes, he decided to block two of my tokens with his two tokens, and then I passed the turn, at which point Austin cracked his Terramorphic Expanse and searched for a swamp. On Austin's next turn, he cast a Baneslayer Angel, but I revealed a path to exile to him, and that was enough for him to scoop, giving me the match two games to one.